everyone. We're going to continue on solving equations um, with some rational equations with fractions. And now we're going to talk about different types of equations that have polynomials, mostly binomials, in the denominator. So last couple of days, we've solved fractions. First day, we solved fractions with just um, numbers or single variables in the denominator. So we solved those by multiplying by the least common denominator. Yesterday, we looked at solving with one fraction on either side where you can cross multiply. Today we're going to look at equations that have multiple fractions on one or both sides and how we can solve those equations. So we're going to solve those equations by using a similar process that we have which is multiplying by LCD, multiplying by a least common denominator. So the first step that we have to do is find a least common denominator, find an LCD. So for some of these problems, you might have to factor. Some of these problems, you might have to look at each variable individually. You might have to look at each number individually. Or you might have to look at the binomials and make sure that you include one of the binomials that are part of each of the fractions. So to find the least common denominator here, where we have a bunch of different binomials in the denominators, we want to make sure we include each of the binomials one time in the denominator. So if we look, we know x plus 5 is included. We also know x minus 3 is included, and that takes care of all the binomials that are part of the denominators, so that's our least common denominator. Okay, now our next step for this is we're going to try to multiply and cancel out our denominators. Okay, so we're going to multiply by the LCD to get rid of the fractions. Our goal is to get rid of these fractions. So our least common denominator is x plus 5x minus 3. We're going to multiply each of these fractions by that denominator. So seven is going to be multiplied by x plus five times x minus three. Five is going to be multiplied by x plus five times x minus three. And six is going to be multiplied by x plus five times x minus three. So now we get to the point that we can start canceling things out. And you'll get to a pattern where you can see you'll be multiplying by whatever denominator is not, whatever binomial is not included in that denominator. So let's start canceling some things out. So we're multiplying each fraction by that LCD, by the, by the least common denominator. So x plus five in the top, cancel out with the bottom. X minus three in the top, cancel out in the bottom. What are we left with? Seven times cancel out stuff means we just have seven. Cancel things out here. X minus three in the bottom, that cancel out with that X minus three in the numerator. So we have plus five times X plus five. Okay, now let's look at the next fraction. Six over x plus five, x plus five is in the denominator. That's gonna cancel out with the x plus five in the numerator. So we're left with six times x minus three. We made our goal of getting rid of the fractions, getting rid of all the denominators. That has happened. Now we're solving this equation as we would solve any other equation. So we are going to distribute where we can. So I have seven plus five X plus 25 equals six X minus 18. And then we simplify some more. So we have five X plus 32 equals six X minus 18. Now we can move things, all right? Move some of these, manipulate some of these terms to get the X's to one side, variables to the other. Right, variables to one side, numbers to the other. So we're going to subtract 5x from each side. That's going to leave us with 32 equals x minus 18. Final step is add 18 to each side. So I have x equal to 50. And that would be my answer. I got one answer. All right, x would equal 50 for this equation to be solved. So find the LCD factor if necessary. In this case, we didn't have to factor anything. Multiply each term, each fraction by that LCD. Cancel out. You should get rid of all your denominators. Okay? Then you're solving an equation. 